Hey everyone, this morning I'm going to film a 5 minute Pilates abs workout. So it's really going to focus on the core. I'm going to use a resistance band for this just to challenge the exercises a little bit more. But you can absolutely do the workout without it as well and you'll still find it challenging. Okay, so we're going to get started. So just so you know, each exercise is going to be 40 seconds with a 20 second rest afterwards. Okay, so during that 20 second period, I'll talk through the next exercise. So we're starting by putting on our band. We want it just above the joint line of the knee to begin with. Okay, so before I start the timer, I'll demonstrate the first exercise. So we're starting with both legs in our tabletop position. Okay, so your knees are over your hips. Both hands behind the head, interlock the fingers. We're exhaling, coming down with the left leg and inhaling up, slowly back up. Exhale down with the right, inhale up. And you'll find the band will move down the legs a little bit. If you need to readjust it, bring it up higher, closer to the knee. All right, so getting ready to go with that one. Off we go. Exhale down, inhale up. So your lower back needs to stay pressed into the mat all the time with this. My band is moving. Over halfway. And rest okay so to rest we're hugging the knees into the chest rock side to side and you can look up to me while I just demonstrate the next one so we're going to have both legs up in the air and now to really work against the resistance of the band we're having a nice gap between the knees okay we're exhaling forward inhaling up okay off we go 40 seconds exhale down inhale up if you want to modify look up to me now just come forward a little bit and back up okay you don't have to come all the way above your mat or in my case your fancy rug i forgot my mat okay so nice and slow really controlling it long through the legs pushing out against the resistance of the band Good, and hug your knees into your chest again. Excellent work. Okay, so for the next one, I'm moving the band. I'm putting it around the feet. And we're doing a bicycle crunch. Okay, hands behind the head. Opposite knee to elbow. Push away with the opposite foot. So you're pushing against the band. And this is a really slow bicycle crunch. hug the knees into your chest. Excellent work. Okay, the next one we're doing, my legs are in tabletop. Once again, we're just pushing straight away with that leg. So this left leg here needs to stay in tabletop as the right pushes away. So it's kind of similar to our bicycle crunch without the rotation. And you really feel that. Keep the feet flexed throughout. Hands behind the head. Really, really push into the band. 18 seconds. Okay, I can really feel this one now. And hug those knees to your chest.
Okay, so for our next one, we have a nice gap between the feet. We're coming down and up. Okay, so down and up. So this time the arms are moving as well. Okay, we're going in three, two, one. And remember, push the feet out against the band. Long through the neck. Keep the lower back pressed into the mat. Remember, if you need to modify, don't come quite as low to the ground. 18 seconds. Oh, and rest. Excellent work. So the next one is going to be very similar to the last exercise, except once the hands come off the meat to the feet, we're adding a little scooch up. Down, up, and reach to touch the toe. So you're getting that extra activation through the rectus abdominis. Scooch up, that's it. Really engaging. Reach long each time. How are we going? Nine seconds. Keep your lower back pressed into the mat. That's so important with these. Oh. And we're done. Excellent. Great work. Well done, everybody. So this band is a really, really useful tool to progress on your workouts. But like I said, that one can be done without it as well and can be just as effective.